Blake Shelton picked flowers for his wife Gwen Stefani during an idyllic walk at their Oklahoma ranch on Monday. The country star and no doubt front woman, who faced split rumors earlier this year, spent some quality time together. Gwen, 54, shared a sweet photo of Blake, 47, during their woodland stroll around the 1,400-acre ranch. She captured the former voice judge standing under the white blossom of a tree on her Instagram story. He smiled at the camera and appeared to be picking one of the blossoms from the branch above him. She also shared a clip of Blake driving a tractor with a huge branch full of white blossom in the back. They stowed the branches in buckets of water as Blake snipped more off with a pair of huge shears. The couple, who married in 2021, has been spending plenty of time together at their ranch after Blake wrapped his nationwide tour back to the honky tonk. On Monday, Gwen shared videos of herself interacting with some of their farm animals. She posted a clip of several ducklings swimming around in a bucket of water. The voice judge appeared to be preparing to wash the little creatures. Over the weekend they celebrated Easter together at their mansion with their children. The couple are no doubt enjoying their break after several months of promoting their new song together, Purple Irises. Gwen recently revealed the lyrics are about relationship insecurities. I was on my way to a session and it hit me, Gwen commented in an Instagram video about the track. It was like, Purple Irises. That's the song, she continued. I knew the day I wrote Purple Irises I needed to be truthful to myself and write this song about, I'm getting older, I don't feel pretty. If I don't feel pretty, how could someone else think I'm pretty still, what if somebody tries to take my love away from me? I really wanted to show how insecure I could feel, the singer concluded. Gwen and Blake sparked rumors that their romance was on the rocks when they spent New Year's Eve apart due to their opposing work schedules. In early February, a source told Life and Style their relationship had gotten frustrating, adding they used to be inseparable, but that's changed. However, Gwen quashed the split speculation by making multiple appearances on Blake's tour in February and March. She hit the stage for performances at Blake's shows in Lafayette, Louisiana. Houston, Texas, Edmonton, Alberta, and Glendale, Arizona. At their sprawling Oklahoma ranch, Blake Shelton wandered through the fields, his boots crunching softly against the dry grass. The sun was dipping low, casting a golden hue across the landscape, as if trying to wrap the world in a final warm embrace before nightfall. In the distance, a cluster of wildflowers swayed in the gentle breeze, their vibrant colors standing out against the muted tones of the surrounding countryside. Blake had always loved this time of day, the quiet moments just before sunset when the world seemed to hold its breath. But today, his mind was far from quiet. The rumors swirling around his and Gwen's relationship had been relentless, filling the tabloids with speculation that they were on the verge of a breakup. It wasn't the first time they'd been under scrutiny, but something about these latest rumors had hit closer to home. Maybe it was because they hadn't spent much time together lately, their busy schedules pulling them in opposite directions. Or maybe it was because, deep down, Blake feared there might be some truth to the whispers. He shook his head, trying to push the negative thoughts away. This ranch was their sanctuary, the place where they could escape from the world and just be themselves. Here, they weren't Blake Shelton, the country superstar, and Gwen Stefani, the pop icon, they were just Blake and Gwen, a couple who loved each other and found peace in the simple things. And right now, Blake needed that simplicity more than ever. As he approached the wildflowers, Blake bent down to examine them more closely. He could never tell one type of flower from another, but these looked beautiful, white daisies, bright yellow sunflowers, and deep purple coneflowers, all blooming in harmony. Gwen loved flowers. She had a natural talent for arranging them, turning even the most ordinary bouquet into a work of art. Blake imagined her smile when he handed her these wildflowers, and the thought warmed his heart. Gently, he began to pick the flowers, careful not to damage the stems. As he worked, his mind drifted to the early days of their relationship, when everything had felt new and exciting. They'd come from such different worlds, 
but somehow, they'd found common ground. Gwen had brought light into his life when he'd needed it most, and he'd never been more grateful for anything. But over the years, that light had dimmed a little, not because of any lack of love, but because life had a way of complicating things. Blake stood up, the flowers gathered in his hand, and looked out over the fields. The sun was almost gone now, the sky awash in pink and orange. He knew Gwen was inside the ranch house, probably finishing up a phone call or working on a project. She was always so busy, always in demand. But tonight, Blake wanted to remind her of why they'd fallen in love in the first place. He wanted to show her that no matter what the rumors said, they were still strong, still together. As he made his way back to the house, Blake noticed the soft glow of lights in the windows. The ranch house was a beautiful, rustic place, a blend of wood and stone that blended seamlessly with the landscape. It had always felt like home, even more so when Gwen was there. He pushed open the front door, the familiar creak of the hinges welcoming him inside. Gwen, he called out, his voice echoing in the large entryway. Up here, came the reply from upstairs. Blake smiled and made his way up the wooden staircase, the flowers hidden behind his back. He found Gwen in their bedroom, sitting on the edge of the bed with her laptop on her lap. She looked up when he entered, her face lighting up with a smile that made Blake's heart skip a beat. Hey, you, she said, closing the laptop and setting it aside. Where have you been? Just out for a walk, Blake replied casually, though his heart was pounding with anticipation. I brought you something. Gwen raised an eyebrow, clearly intrigued. Oh yeah? What is it? Blake stepped forward, revealing the bouquet of wildflowers with a flourish. Gwen gasped, her eyes widening in surprise and delight. For you, Blake said softly, holding out the flowers. Gwen took the bouquet from him, her fingers brushing against his. She brought the flowers to her nose, inhaling deeply before looking up at him with a smile that reached her eyes. Blake, they're beautiful, she said, her voice filled with genuine appreciation. Thank you. Blake shrugged, trying to play it cool, but he couldn't hide the relief he felt at her reaction. I just thought you might like them. They reminded me of you. Gwen set the flowers down on the bed and wrapped her arms around his neck, pulling him into a tight embrace. You're so sweet, she murmured, her lips brushing against his ear. I love you.